In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to download and install the IceWarp Outlook Sync. The first thing you're going to do is go to icewarp.com, then go to the Downloads section and click on Client Applications. There you'll find the download for the executable, which I've already done, and I'm going to go ahead and just run this. Okay, so just follow the wizard here to set this up. I'm going to set this up for all users. And the email address I'm going to use with this, the test account I've set up here, icewarp at digital-ranch.net. Your profile name, you can name that whatever you want. However, if you name it Outlook, which is the default profile, that if you've set up another email account up in Outlook, uh, that's already going to be one of your profiles. So don't name it Outlook if you don't want that to replace it. Because if you name it the same thing, it's going to write over your current Outlook profile. Whereas if you name it something else, like this, I'm just going to leave it as a default then it will create another Outlook profile and I'll show you that in just a second here. Now you're going to check configure manually and create profile. Don't do the group where only profile option. And here profile name is the same before and then the email address and I'm just going to call this Ice Warp Sync. Okay, your username is your full email address, so I need to add on at digital-ranch.net, my password, and the host name is for the mail server, which is securemail.digital-ranch.net, and we are going to use, select the SSL uh, option for the port right there. You can go ahead and click on test settings to make sure that you've entered in the correct credentials, which this is a good example of I did not enter it in correctly. So that's where you'd want to check your username, icewarp sync at digital ranch.net. Um, let me try this password again. There we go. And then for the outgoing the SMTP server, we are going to also use SSL. Um, and then we're going to change this port to 587. You can test those settings as well. Contacted, we're good. If you remember that, I'm going to go ahead with the default location to install this. I'm just going to pause the recording as this uh, goes through and installs. Okay, so we finished the install. Outlook is going to load with this new profile that it created that has the Outlook, uh, IceWarp Outlook sync. Looks like there's some configuration that needs to go on. So I'll let that go ahead and we'll resume once it's finished. Okay, the configuration process took about a minute and now uh, Outlook has loaded and here we see our new account that we've set up and I just want to go through and walk through some of the cool features that it has with syncing to the webmail so you can get your calendar and your your contacts and your tasks and all those things uh, if you create it here in Outlook it'll sync to the webmail and vice versa if you do it in the webmail it's coming down to the Outlook. Uh, before we jump into that real quick just wanted to show you in the mail settings in the control panel, this is where you can look at your different profiles. Let me drag this over. As you can see, there's the one that we created. And if you had set up an account previously in Outlook, it's going to have this default Outlook profile. So that's why I was saying don't name this one Outlook 
if you want to keep your original accounts that are configured for this profile. Uh, and you can also change things in here if you uh, want it to always use this new profile that we've set up. You can have it prompt you, or you can say it to always load the other one. So just wanted to show you that so you know how to uh, play with those settings if needs be. Okay, so let's do this. If let me show you the webmail here. Log on. Okay, so we'll have the same uh, list of items here as we do in Outlook. If we wanted to create a new folder, just call this test sync folder. There it shows up there. This get new button is basically what synchronizes everything. So we do that and come down to Outlook. You can play with the synchronizing settings and set it to uh, the time frames that you'd like. And you need to just click this and it will should update. Let's see here. Here's those synchronization settings that you can do. Right here is where you can adjust that. So I'm going to leave that as, as default. Okay, yeah, it's folder sync. That's what I needed. So there you have the test sync folder. Now let's come back to our webmail and create an event in our calendar. Um, event created in webmail. So we've got it there. Now with that, that iSwerp Outlook sync, it's going to show up in our calendar. You can see there's nothing there yet. Nope, there it just came in. So that's how the calendar syncing works. Um, let's go back to our mail. And show you that it works both ways. Folder and Outlook. Okay, sync that manually. It'll do this automatically based on the settings that you have, but since we're going at a faster pace here, we'll need to do that. There we go. There's the folder that we created in Outlook. And we can do the same thing if we uh, go to a contact and we say test user test user at digital ranch.net. I'll add that contact in here. Go back to Outlook, come to people, and there we have it. Okay, so the same thing can be done in tasks. Um, I'm not going to go through it, but the create one in the webmail or Outlook, and it syncs between the two. If we want to do sharing of calendars, you need to initiate the share from the webmail. All right, so you're going to come down to sharing and permissions, and then the contact that you had that we created that you want to share it with. In this case, it's user test. Click OK. And I'm going to give this person all permissions so that they can edit calendar items and update them. And there we go. OK. So that's going to send them an email. As you see here, this is the test user account. Got a notice. It says, you have an invite from iSwarp Sync. 
um, go ahead and click on subscribe folder. Now that we've done that, come to the calendar and there we see this event that we created in the webmail for the iSwarp sync account. Okay, so one other thing that I wanted to go over is that when we set this up, we need to change some of the mail settings that it has automatically tried to attach to the account. So we're going to file uh, account settings and then double click on this account. I'm going to leave all this, click on more settings everything's fine in here advanced we need to switch this to SSL how it's set currently with TLS will not work so if you tried to send mail it's not going to function properly once you've done that click next and it will go ahead and try and uh, log in and send a message and that's how you know it's working properly One more thing I wanted to go over was that IceWarp will play a notification sound when a message comes in. I'm going to turn that off. So IceWarp Sync, go to Settings, Appearance, and uncheck the option that says Play Sound when message when new message arrives. Click OK. Unless you want to hear that ding every time you get a new email. All right, so that wraps up the tutorial on uh, IceWarp Outlook Sync. Hopefully, it's been helpful and enjoy. Uh, the synchronization that takes place between the webmail and Outlook.